Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you in the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 67. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special, very, very, very special guest in the building for episode 67. Introduce yourself to the audience again. <laughs> hey guys, it's, I'm just Jackie, Miss Jackie. How you guys doing? Thanks for having mm-hmm. me back. That is, excuse me, this is the table. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not just Jackie. This is the table making her third appearance, I believe, on How to Hustle podcast with Hype. You know what I'm saying? The only person who has more appearances or as many as you is TJ. Shout out to my man, TJ. What's up, TJ? (laughs) (laughs) Um, All right, let's hit the rundown. E-Block Radio Network every Monday, 2 p.m. on the E-Block Radio Network. Tuesday at GFT Radio Network every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Wednesdays is 216 The Blend, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Thursdays is WTNUPhilly.com, 1230 every Thursday. Friday is the I Say Podcast Radio Network at 10 a.m. Custom Hustle World is my clothing line. Custom Hustle World on Instagram and Twitter. You get your custom sweatsuits, T-shirts, jerseys, jackets. Uh, we got the baby jackets. We got the baby jerseys on now. And the basketball jerseys have arrived. So anything that you need customized, we can make happen over here. At Custom Hustle and H2H Cleaning at H2H Cleaning on Instagram is a trusty area situation. But if you make it worth my while, I will slide down to Houston and keep Jackie's situation all the way tight for her. Um, okay, now, episode 67. This one came from Jackie. I'm scrolling on Twitter, and I see Jackie has a very lovely question that we weren't going to burn out in the comments. And the question that Jackie was asking was, is your podcast about who you are or who you want to become? We let the guests go first here on the How to Hustle podcast. Okay, so how the tweet came about, it's funny you know, little personal experiences, you know, in, in my life and everything. I'm just like, you know how when people say, I ask you, are you the same person on social media as you are, you know, if I meet, you know, if I meet you in person mm-hmm. and, you know, most people say, yeah, or most people will say, oh, no, my um, my podcast is like a persona of me, whatever, whatever type thing. And um, it was just the fact that I have met a lot of you know, content creators. And over the years, I'm just like, eh, I'm not, at this point, I listen and I'm just like, are you putting on a show or is this the person you re- you want to be in real life, but you most can't? People have, most people are putting on a facade, yes. <laughs> yeah, so, but, but it's kind of hard because the thing is, I listen and, you know, people have this great content about life and being a human and and everything, and then I'm just like two and two way adding up to four. So it to me, it, it just put me in this dilemma. Like I can't even listen to a lot of people no more. Cause for one, I know you because I met you, you know, and unfortunately, it's just like your your show is pre, is a presentation. And yeah. you're holding people up to standards that you're not even living. You're not but you're yourself, you're yeah. pretending to you're pretending to hold yourself up to these standards on your podcast. But in real life, that's not who you are. You're not that person in out, out outside the microphone, off the microphone. Well, that's because it's easy for people to give advice and hard to take advice. Mm-hmm. It's easy to give somebody else a criticism versus looking inside yourself and making that strong, accurate assessment. Mm-hmm. So like most people, uh, which last week's episode uh, was, we was talking about um, accepting the fact that you're short and you got a shortcoming in some area, accepting that fact and wholeheartedly in ex- wholeheartedly willing to learn, willing to accept that I don't know this and then I need to get better at this. Mm-hmm. If Jackie has more experience with whatever it is that we're doing, why wouldn't I lean to you instead of stubbornly just fucking it up myself, mm-hmm. knowing that I don't know. So that's what most people will do, though. Like, you can give me all the great advice, but you can't take it for yourself. Mm-hmm. I give an example here of this was on uh, How to Hustle Seminars, which can still be purchased. You know what I'm saying? How to Hustle Seminars 
are still out there and available. Um, we was talking about this where I'm telling them about doing a live show and started with a baseline of selling 25 to 30 tickets. And you can sell 25 to 30 tickets at a certain price. You can make some money off of the situation, which now turns you into a professional. Mm -hmm. But me telling them that on the seminar and I go, take your own advice, dummy. Like, if you're telling them it's this easy to do that, then why don't you do it? Which is how I did the first live show. Um, but I would say to me, for me to personally to answer the question, though, anyway, uh, I would say my podcast is about who I want, who I'm becoming. Mm -hmm. Because I did an episode with the bros. Shout out to the bros. They're back, uh, back in the lab. Um, we did an episode a while ago about uh, what would the title of this chapter of your life be? And mine's was the foundation. Because right now I'm doing H2H cleaning. I'm doing custom hustle. I'm doing all of these different things because I want to lay a foundation so that when I get to my 40s, we can now begin to relax. And that the things are now running smoothly enough that I don't have to be there and do all of them. Like once you hit that stage, it's like one of those, one of them things is uh, you as strong as your name is. Mm -hmm. And if my name is on something, then people know he ain't bullshitting. When we just got on here, you text me, I'm in the room. I'm already here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, because when you have a good name, it's nothing better than that. Mm -hmm. You're reliable when people can depend on you. Just like you're saying, when I met these different individuals, when you met me, I was the same nigga that I'm on camera, the same nigga that I am on the drink. Mm -hmm. Where I tell people all the time, if I can help, please let me know. And I'll try to figure that out. When yeah. you told me I'm coming into the city, I said, okay, yeah, we're going down to the concert. You said, how much is the tickets? The tickets ain't shit. I got you. <laughs> like, yeah. okay? So that's me. Mm -hmm. That ain't just like put on the facade and put on the front for nobody. You mention my name in any circle. You don't know nobody got nothing bad to say about me. Mm -hmm. Somebody tell you something bad about me, you go, you don't know him. <laughs> because if that's say that the one more time, though. Know, say that one more time for the people that they're hearing in the back. People in the, for the people in the back. Mm -hmm. If somebody tell you something bad about me, it's because they don't know me. Boop, and boop. certain people and certain individuals, when you hear stuff about them and you really know that person, you go like, I'm not even feeding to that because Jackie wouldn't have said that. Mm -hmm. Like, she's not that type of person. Yeah. Or even if y'all got that type of relationship, I don't have nothing to do with that because mm -hmm. that ain't our relationship. Yeah. Maybe me and me and whoever might have had a bad experience. We just oil and water. The situation don't mix. That's that don't it. mean that y'all will have a bad relationship, though. So you can't That's always it. even let those negative situations that somebody else has affect your situation with the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but unfortunately, life be life, and then that's what be happening. Shout out to my man, Nutmeg. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, it's like just be an adult about it and, and think with your own mind and not what other people are trying to plant in your mind. People out here trying to plant seeds, like, okay, let's take you, let's take you. You out here doing amazing things. You know, like I haven't heard nobody say nothing negative about you. You know what I'm saying? And you are a man of your word. OK, when I met you, you gave me the same energy as I got on social media. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if somebody came up to me right now this day and said something negative about you, I'm going to be like, you don't know him. And either you're just trying to tear this man's name down because all you hear is great things about this person. You know what I'm saying? When somebody get get too much accolades or people just keep hearing positive things about you and it's like, nah, this this, this, this got to be something wrong with this person. This got to be something wrong. Look, you got to have an ulterior motive. They can't find here. nothing wrong with you, so they start talking and making up stuff. You, you see what I'm saying? And then when they do that, they discredit your name. That's what they're trying to do at the end of the day. So this was funny where, again, in fact, this is, again, damn, shout out to my man, nah. <laughs> we, I did an episode with somebody and I'm trying to explain like a type of guy to them. And now I was like, it was crazy that they didn't think like dudes like you really exist. Like they couldn't even comprehend that it was a dude like you. Like, I was like, yeah. So it's like, you kind of don't want to keep trying to mm -hmm. drill it into them. Cause it's like, I try to tell people this is not bragging if it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Like the truth isn't bragging. It's just me telling you what it is. Yeah. Like, if I tell somebody, Google me, you can find, yeah, you Google my name. You Google mm -hmm. hype and a lot of, my stuff will come up. That's yep. not me bragging. That's hard work and dedication. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, that don't just happen for everybody. No, but, that's um, facts, though. My bad. Uh, the question go to you now, Jack. How do you feel about that one? I feel about what? Back in your podcasting days, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> a veteran like yourself of uh -huh. the game, was it more so about 
who you were at the moment or who you were uh, becoming. Okay, all right, I got you. That's, that's a good question to throw back on me. Jack thought all I right. was throwing a little shot in there at her when I wasn't. You know what I'm Listen, saying? I'm slow work with me, baby. Okay, <laughs> at, the of, at the end of the day, when I was an active podcaster and, you know, actively out there, everything that I was talking about on whether it be the, my platform or somebody else's platform, it's about me. It's about my past. It's about my present. And, and it's about the future. And then when people meet me, they get the same energy. When I'm giving you all on social media platforms, I'm going to give it to you when I meet you in real person. Because I am a silly person in general. I love to laugh. I got a great, weird sense of humor. So that's the energy you're going to get from me. You, you know, you're going to get And you're also the table. You bring Yeah, it all. that's why I was about to say. You're going to get the, you're gonna get the table from me. I'm I could be serious, guys. You know, I could be serious and and I don't mind sharing my history to help somebody's future. You see what I'm saying? So and I and I don't I don't know if a lot of people are accepting of people in general who are just open and honest. Because if I tell you my good and my bad and my ugly and indifferent, you ain't got there's nothing you can say about me. That's gonna surprise anybody. That's gonna Most people most people say they want honesty, but they just want to hear what they want to hear. That I, they don't really want like the they don't really they don't ask me nothing. They don't ask me because I'm gonna give you the truth because isn't that what you wanted? See, ain't that what you wanted? I ain't gonna, I don't mm. sugarcoat no more. I'm too old to sugarcoat anything for anybody. Please know when I say something, I'm telling you how I really think, how I really feel, my real opinions, and it's it's my opinions. They're not facts, but respect my opinions. You see what I'm saying? As a human being. So my thing is now, uh, I only give you my opinion if you ask for it, uh, because you realize, like you said, most people don't want the truth. They mm -hmm. just want to hear what they want to hear. They want to hear, yeah, you look cute in this dress or that color really yeah. works. For and it don't. <laughs> so like, even like, this is why, uh, this is why, uh, Bor was calling me dressing rooms hype is because we was talking about one day, do you go to the store you know what I'm saying with your girl when she's trying on this, that, or whatever. And I said, uh -huh. store, I'm in the dressing room. <laughs> I don't want you to come down the steps or come out the room and you got on something. And I'm like, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if you ask me and I don't like it, I'm going to mm -hmm. say, how, how do I look? You could have went with it. <laughs> you could have went with a blue dress. You could have went with it. Like, you know, I don't, you know, I don't like this color nail polish. You mm -hmm. know, I don't like this type of hairstyle. So, I'm not going to just lie to you and say, oh, man, you look beautiful. Like, I'm mm -hmm. going to be honest with you if you ask me for my opinion. Right. Try to, the only person that I sugarcoat things for or switch it up is my mom mm -hmm. or if I meet your mom or mm -hmm. your grandma or like somebody like that, then yeah, okay, obviously you don't give them the same type of thing. Because Energy, you don't yeah. have, there's a certain level of respect that you mm -hmm. have in those situations or that you should have in those situations. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I've never met your mom, but I would never walk into your mom's house and go, what the fuck is... Never. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that in my mom's house. So, right. unless it's like one of those elderly type of situations, everybody's getting the same energy. Even right. if your mom made this potato salad, and I don't particularly think that it's the best, okay? <laughs> and she asked me, oh, what'd you think, baby? It was cool. I'll give her that. <laughs> like, <laughs> but if you made this potato salad, and you say, oh, what'd you think, Jack? What the, what the fuck is wrong with you? These potatoes was big as shit. These joints wasn't mixed in. Okay, where was even the mayonnaise? <laughs> like, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me tell you my little These potatoes was hard as shit. <laughs> okay. If I gotta ask you about it, I already know there's something wrong. You feeling me? You know you, you I ain't gonna you ask nobody about nothing that I feel <laughs> confident in. <laughs> <laughs> you know you forgot to cut the eggs up and you put no eggs in the drink. So now you already think, damn, they eating that shit too, huh? <laughs> I was like, I ain't even gonna ask. I gotta ask. I know it's jacked up. Let's trust and believe. I already know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you don't, if you, don't you don't see them all. You don't get none of that. You don't get nobody rocking back and forth like, what? Hey, you like you walk past nah this you walk past that pan and there's still a whole lot of it in there. You go, damn, mm -hmm. like, doing that shit, huh? <laughs> But no, it's just I, I okay. So I get like a lot of people reply to the the tweet and said it's about it's about who they are and about who they want to be. 
Because, you know, like you said, everybody's on the podcast giving advice or they trying to learn themselves, right? They trying to learn. It depends, yeah, it, depend, it depends on what type of show that you're putting out there. Exactly. Uh, mm-hmm. Most people, like, just because you got a podcast don't mean that you got millions of dollars or thousands mm-hmm. or hundreds of dollars. Mm-hmm. So you shouldn't be portraying it, though. <laughs> like, if that's not the situation, you mm-hmm. should never be portraying something that's not real. This is the problem with the whole social media situation is social media is based off the gratification of others are giving yeah. you by it liking means- or viewing whatever it is that you're doing. Mm-hmm. So now you then go to take that to mean like that it's really something mm-hmm. when it's just it's just here for entertainment. <laughs> like I'm really talking about these podcasts that are like life podcasts. You know what I mean? Like not comedy. They're not comedy focused. You know, we're talking about just people who get into life and and, and life situations. So take a female podcast per se. And the female podcast is about empowering women, uplifting women, um, you know, just being a strong woman, not putting up with things, checking your girl to say, eh, you know, type stuff like that. Right. And then my thing is, I listen to you. I know for a fact that it's things that you shitted on people for, but then you turn around and you just the stuff that you shitted on people for, you just did it yourself. How how mm-hmm. again, how can I listen to you when I feel like you, you're not portraying who you are on this show? Like Yeah, you it's like playing a character. Mm-hmm. It's like uh when you meet ghosts from power. He's mm-hmm. not ghosts. <laughs> like, right. He's not selling it. Well, I, you don't know what nobody's doing, but like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's not sitting in truth every night, you know what I'm saying? Having an affair with Angela. <laughs> like, that's not the guy that you're meeting here. That mm-hmm. is a character that he plays. So when people, it's the same thing like a podcast. You, you going to meet Amari Hardwick or do you want to meet ghosts? Mm-hmm. Like, right. If you, but. This is one of them things where people don't be honest with themselves and can't make those strong evalu- evaluations mm-hmm. and assessments of yourself. Are you the person who's equipped to give that kind of information? Mm-hmm. Like, are should you be? Are you skilled and have enough experiences to be telling people what to do with these situations? Mm-hmm. Like, and if you're not following through with it, then the answer is no. Right. <laughs> like, to answer I, the question for yourself. I feel like um, I would for you to say that's the person you you want to be or you aspire to be. Especially when you know deep down in your spirit what you're telling the people on your podcast is a lot. You're not, doing, <laughs> you're not even doing yourself. You're not even holding yourself to those standards. Yeah, you talking about being the most faithful nigga with your two chicks texting you and <laughs> <laughs> again, is who you really want to be that that good man, that strong man, that that faithful man, and that's what you well, you, and that's what you portraying. But in them streets, people know who you really are and know what you really do. But that's what I'm saying. A lie can get so good to you sometimes that you believe it. I, well, and I guess people out here believe in they own. They they believe in what they spit on the show. Yeah, I mean, but I, like I said, it was just a concern for me because it's just like I I know people. Like I actually interact live and in, in person with um for people, and I don't even listen to them no more. For that Actually, fact. too, the tricky thing about words is they can say anything. They can say anything, but <laughs> don't get mad when people know your shit and then it is what it is. Like, don't 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 ask me why I don't listen to you, Shona. I'm gonna tell you why. You a liar. <laughs> <laughs> you out here hook right. weaking people. Hook weaking. How you say hook? That's your. You've been led astray, bamboozled, hoodwinked. They're, they're out here bamboozled, but honestly, they're not really lying to the audience. They, you, I, I'm rocking with what you're saying. They really it's lying not to the themselves. Message, it's the messenger. Yeah. yeah, but no, they lying to themselves too because they really believe like this is what they, this is what they doing. This is yeah, like I are. said, you could be given a great message about you know mm-hmm. being in a monogamous relationship, and this is the way that you should handle your family and all of that. All of the advice that you could be given is great, and you ain't even taking your own advice. But some people don't even listen to their own shit. Those so they even hear that and like take that in. <laughs> I that's why I said from the beginning, I listened to my own seminar, uh-huh. and I'm listening back to it as a listener, and then mm-hmm. going, hmm, that makes sense. Yeah. If I'm telling Jackie, hey, look, it's this easy for you to do this to sell these tickets to have this mm-hmm. show. Why wouldn't I do it? But if you just putting Let's it out there going, killed it again. Another five-star episode. 
Let me give you another, um, let me twist it up a little bit. I'm going to just use myself as an example, because that's what I do. I like to use myself as an example. Go I'm on, a content creator. This is your table, not mine. <laughs> I'm a content creator, but I'm not actively doing any content creating. I started off with YouTube. I stumbled into the podcasting, you know, um, but I'm not super active on anything right now. And, um, you know, I was having a conversation with, with John from the Johnny Beck podcast, and, you know, he was asking me, was I going to come back and do YouTube, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And I told him, I said, I said, I really don't know if I'm going to come back or when I'm going to come back. And this is what I told him. Um, when I came into this content creating, I came in with the wrong spirit. But I didn't realize it, though. I came in with the wrong spirit. I was just, I called myself trying to heal and all this stuff, but I was really running from what I needed to heal from. You see what I'm saying? So I was avoiding a lot of stuff and I just used content creating as an escape from it's what I needed to, to face in my in my life. And then eventually I did get to a happier space, you know, mentally and everything. So in the content creating started dwindling. And I, the reason why I, what I realized for me, why the content creating started coming down to a minimum and just stopped I wasn't that same person who came into the content creating. I wasn't hurting. I wasn't venting. I wasn't running. I wasn't trying to find excuses and escapes. I faced it and I'm going through it. And I'm still actively healing. You know what I'm saying? But at least I'm going through the healing process. And I don't really, I don't feel the need to hop behind the camera and sit there and talk to people who don't even know me no more. You, you see what I'm saying? I don't need that escape no more. So, so if I do but, come back, it's going to be because I want to do it out of love and passion for the stuff I was bringing on to my channel. You see what I'm saying? So this is the thing there that you said was you became a different person in the, in the situation. Mm -hmm. Some people don't evolve and become a different person. Mm. Some people are the exact same person from 15 to 45. Oh, and that's a problem. If you got the same mentality, the same views, the same outlooks, the same aspirations and goals, mm -hmm. that's a problem. Especially if you've gone through 30 years of life, having kids, marriage, mm -hmm. uh, you've lost whoever or whatever. Like, There's no way that you should be still viewing the world the same way or still aspiring to do the same things. Mm -hmm. Even if you had a company all of that time, you know, like if you were handling your tax situation for mm -hmm. you know, a certain amount of time or something like that, <laughs> you know, just offhand. Um, <laughs> Even if you're in a business situation, you will have different goals and aspirations for your business, or you should mm -hmm. after a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. It's just like when you got your first job. You got your first job and you was like, all right, $5 an hour. Great. Mm -hmm. You have no mm -hmm. overhead. Mm -hmm. And then you got to $8 and you was the shit. Then you got the $12. And like as it continues to grow, mm -hmm. the goalpost moves if you're growing. Like you saying with that situation, when you started it, it was a therapy situation basically for you so mm -hmm. that you can get it out and you can vent and you can heal from that situation. Mm -hmm. Once you healed from it, I no longer need this therapy situation because this the goal that I was trying to obtain, I've obtained already. Mm -hmm. Some people, though, will just be the goal was to get to $20 an hour. I got there. I mm -hmm. have peaked at life. And this is where I'll be for the next 35 years until I retire. Yeah. Like, it got it's all point. about it's all about. Evolution. Growing and Growing. recognizing mm -hmm. that you've grown or that you haven't is yeah. all about this evaluation of self. I continue to bring this up a lot on the show because that is the uh, most important is assessment that you can make is of yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to know what it is that you're putting out into the world for people. You can't right. give it to people or I don't know how you receive what I'm giving you, but I know what it is that I'm putting out there. Mm hmm. Like, am I picking up what you're putting down? You know? Copy that. So, mm hmm Now, I like, why I, I, I like what you why said. you're making your third appearance on the Hot House Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, it's... I mean, every, I listen, everything you said was just crystal clear. Like, it was just confirmation of how I've been thinking on my journey. And I will say this, like, transitioning from the content creating, I have focused on my business more and my business has grown so much and, and profits have, have done nothing but gone up because I'm business. focusing on different things. 
while you bringing that up in the conversation, shifts, <laughs> what business might that be, <laughs> Jackie? Hey, hey y'all, Jackie Old Management, Jackie Old Management, um, professional services, consultations, taxes, um, accounting, you know, accounting services. I'm here. I'm here to help. My thing is to help. To help the small business people like me, the mom and pops of the, the businesses, you know what I'm saying? That, that really keep us the, keep the economy going and keep us eating. And they I, I just I'm I'm here to let them know the services I offer they need and they are affordable. It's not just for those that those six figure million dollar companies. I got you. Y'all get the same just, services. Affordable. Just threw out the tagline of the H two H cleaning is we are here to help. <laughs> Shouts out, shout out, out to Jackie. We here, baby. We here. That's, you know, ain't no doubt. <laughs> I, can, I, you, you you wanna know my, I got a mission though. My mission is I, I'm here. You know, I, I, listen. I just came up with it, but it's written down somewhere. But I'm giving y'all the, the the short version of it. Jackie O Management is here you know, to help the small entrepreneur believe and achieve. That's that's my mission. We're going to write that one down, get it on a couple of business oh, cards. It's on my business plan, baby. Don't worry that's, about it. I got I it. Copy. Yeah, Jackie's giving us a little glimpse of the vision board uh, now. <laughs> I want y'all to believe so y'all can achieve. You know what I'm saying? So I've been doing this thing since 2009. I've been in business since 2009. That, that's the number one thing is if you don't believe in your product or your situation how am i supposed to believe in it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I again again this was something from last week's episode the loudest voice that you'll ever hear is the one inside your head in your head yeah and that's it. if that voice is encouraging you to move on and grow and move forward with that business that business mm -hmm. will work out if that voice in your head is telling you that it ain't gonna work that this ain't gonna happen and why would somebody believe in this that or whatever then you will have a situation that will not prosper yeah that's it but like, also, just because you believe in it and all of that, it doesn't mean I've been at this for a month and it's mm -hmm. not working out yet. It takes a little time. Yeah, I, I don't like it when people say, oh, um, you, you, you know, did this for a couple of months and it ain't, you know, it's, it's not profiting or it's not working out or you haven't gotten clients or whatever. Listen, Apple did not grow in, in two months. Yeah, Apple didn't start. <laughs> Apple didn't start three years ago. Yeah, uh, so I'm just like, if, <laughs> if, like I said, but if you believe it, you can achieve it. Trust me. It might not be. You might not get to it on that original path that you envisioned, but there's multiple paths to get to where you want to go. It might you, whatever service you're doing, that might not be the service you need to be offering. You might need to do a different. You know what I'm saying? And go in a different direction. But it's also just because that was your idea. Nobody mm -hmm. told you that that's the way that it was. Yeah. Like you thought I've been doing this for eight months and this is not working. Well, that's only eight months. You got somebody been doing this for 12 years mm -hmm. until they got the break that they needed. Somebody yeah. been doing it for 25 and finally got the break that they needed. Like exactly. You have to understand that everybody is not always about what it is that you're providing. Mm -hmm. My podcast goes under the label of shit that makes sense. Because when you come here, you will always get some shit that makes sense. So if you are looking for sports, this is not the place for you. It. You know what I'm saying? If you this don't like it. these type of conversational topics, I am not the guy for you. I can mm -hmm. talk sports and we can do all of that, sure. Because mm -hmm. I got the versatility to do it, but this is not the platform that we're doing mm -hmm. that on. So you always got to understand that there are so many people in the world that the way that the internet is set up, that you can tap in with somebody from mm -hmm. across the country who is moving, thinking, and wants exactly what it is that you're supplying. Mm -hmm. You just have to get out there to connect Listen. with those people. Those people are not going to just show up in your DMs just because you made an Instagram with a cute logo. No. You know what I'm saying? You no, got to put no. in that work and make that thing happen. No. You know, like Let when you copy yourself one of these custom hustle situations. Listen, <laughs> I don't know how you got your, your businesses set up, but I want to just give a quick, little quick advice to anybody who's listening out there. Like how we were saying, you know, if you come up with this idea, whether it's a service-based company or, you know, products or whatever, and you don't have to rely on that one stream of revenue. You, you mm -hmm. feeling me? Obviously, you know, because you got several things going on under the hustle, hustle brand. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Be, uh, so, how to hustle enterprise. Is the name hello. So <laughs> that, that there you go. Enterprise. So 
when you when y'all do your businesses and stuff, I know you want to kind of like cater to what your original thought process for the business is, but you might want to do a more um expensive you something you can multi a multifaceted name because my company, Jackie O Management, it didn't start off as Jackie O Management. It was a I had a different name for my accounting business, but I have done I have grown to you know, have more than one stream of revenue. It's not just accounting and it's not just taxes. It's, you know, like I said, uh, management. I'm really managing different umbrellas under my company. You know, I do consultations with people to help them with their businesses and whatever aspect they're coming to me with that I can help them with. So, and I'm about to add another stream of revenue to Jackie O Management that has nothing to do with accounting, taxes, no professional services. But the way I got it set up, I can still run all my revenue through Jackie O Management. It's just a matter of when I do my bookkeeping, oh, this was accounting revenue. This was tax prep revenue. Mm-hmm. This is real estate. Okay. So, shit, Jackie. So I'm just I just want to drop that. So kind of leave your name open. So like if this first stream of revenue isn't going to be, you know, might not be your main bread and butter and you come up with something, come up with something later on down the road, you ain't got to change your company name, all this good stuff, add a bunch of DBAs, blah, 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 won't be boom. You good because you can keep it all under that same tax ID. You just when you do the bookkeeping, you just book it under the, the correct revenue. So you know how much you made off of, like for me, this is how much I made off of accounting. This is how much I made off of tax returns. This is how much I made off consultations. This is what I did in real estate. You know what I'm saying? So I keep mm-hmm. track of all of that. So that's just my little two cents to get copy to that little copy that little free game from the table. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Try to put y'all on. Jack, I definitely appreciate you coming on. This was your first. I appreciate third you. On and I hope I didn't podcast. offend any content creators. This is just me from my personal point of view. You know, that's it. My point of view is not, you know. You should never let nobody's opinion. Uh, you should never let nobody's opinion deter you from what you're doing. You can take mm-hmm. heed of what somebody is telling you. And see if that's something that you need to implement, fix, or whatever. But mm-hmm. you should never let somebody tells me the rundown is long in the beginning. And I, I okay, that's perfectly fine. The rundown mm-hmm. is long, though, because I want to let everybody know that it does not take very much for you to be able to accomplish getting these different steps done. It's mm-hmm. not for me to say, I'm doing this and you're not. It's for me to say, this is easily attained and this is how I did it. Yeah. So don't ever let some, somebody's opinion is just that. It's just their opinion. Yeah. You can't I'm take everybody's opinion. There. I love yeah, listening to podcasts. Everybody, and I everybody's feel like, opinion personal. I feel like content creators should want to hear what their listeners think of what they're putting out there. You know what I mean? So if you tell me every episode is when, I, hey, what you think about the episode? Oh, it was cool. I like that, John. You didn't listen. Copy. <laughs> If you can't give me an evaluation or an assessment, because we've uh, gone in these joints, and if you can't mm-hmm. break it down, you did not listen. But um, yeah. that was episode 67. I appreciate the table for coming back on the Hot hey, House Thanks for having right? me back. I don't be trying to start nothing. I just be just my little thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jack. Appreciate you coming on. We All right, uh, baby. <laughs> Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up.